Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PyTest tutorial, we are going to continue the parameterizing fixtures and test function discussion and we will understand the real scenario where we'll be using the parameterizing or the third step that we left in the previous tutorial. So the third one is PyTest generate test allows one to define custom parameterization scheme, right? And where this helps us is in the Selenium you would have noticed or in the automation, say for example, from the command line, I want to run all the test cases that are present in this particular folder okay so say if i go to this particular command line and i want to run all the test cases so you have to be in that particular location where this these test cases are so make sure you are you have changed that directory and just run pytest hyphen v hyphen s if i run this this will execute all the test cases that are there within that particular folder right and follow the particular standards that we have discussed. So here, if say for example, at the moment, if you see it is getting the fixture, which is the fixture for the setup to launch browser, login and browse products. And then it is logging off and closing the browser, which is the teardown and then executing all the tests within this particular folder. So now the requirement is say, for example, I want to execute these test cases on a specific browser. So if I pass the argument as as browser and say the argument as Chrome and hit enter it should recognize this Chrome and should launch the browser the Chrome browser and start executing the test cases on Chrome browser so this is what will implement in the actual selenium with Python framework tutorials which will be just coming in a couple of weeks but before that you need to understand how you can implement this right so we need to understand the logic and the methods that you want to implement to achieve this particular functionality so as we know as of now we are just saying launch browser here printing launch browser so what we can do is we will implement the logic using the details that are provided here pytest generate test so we'll simply go that go here and here what you need to do is you need to simply add the option that you are going to provide from the command line okay so add option method is what we have to define and it accepts the parser argument which will basically accept the argument that you are going to provide from the command line okay so let me quickly copy it and in this particular file say for example i'll use the method add option and in the add option what we are going to add is we'll say parser dot add option and what option we are trying to provide we are trying to provide browser right so in the command line what what we want to provide we want to provide this argument and it should be recognized and anything ahead of this particular browser argument should be recognized and we'll implement the logic in our code accordingly so this is the first method that you have to define okay so that your code recognizes the argument that you are passing from the command line so this is the so say for example tomorrow you want to pass another argument you can simply you know add option here as say for example platform okay to add another argument as hyphen platform as of now i'll simply use one argument which is the browser okay the next step is to define a method which basically recognizes this particular or whatever value you are going to provide against this browser so we'll create a method with the name of browser and this method accepts the request okay so this object and we will return whatever value you are going to provide against this particular browser okay so what we are going to do is we are going to return the request dot config and dot get option okay so we'll simply say get option and what we are going to return is the browser okay so just whatever option you are going to provide against this particular browser in the command line right so that is going to be returned as part of this particular method okay and now now this particular method we want to annotate or mark it as a fixture okay because this method will return the actual value and then this value whatever returned value whether it's Chrome or Firefox or things that you are going to enter in the command line we are going to use in the test case setup to launch the specific browser so we'll check whether the value that has been provided in the browser matches to the browser here okay so we'll use some if else conditions and then we'll print the statements accordingly okay so now here what this particular fixture tc setup will take the reference of it will take the reference of this 
particular fixture which is the browser fixture okay because browser will be returning the actual browser value and now here what we can do is we can write a simple if condition so we'll say if the browser is equal to say for example chrome all right then i want to the quotes here and then instead of launch browser i will say launch chrome right because from the command line i am passing the chrome browser say for example okay else if so i can say lf and then again i can have these checks browser is equal to firefox or just say ff then i'll say launching firefox so let's keep it this much and then i'll simply say else it will print this message provide valid browser okay so similarly if you want to implement for edge you can just keep extending these if elif statements and handle those scenarios as well now i will also copy this scope because the scope of this tc setup fixture is session so this scope should be same and then here let me make it consistent so this should be in the double quotes so let me remove that all right so now everything looks good and if now we want to execute the command okay so let me copy the path and from here say for example i want to execute all of the test cases on the chrome browser right so i'll pass the argument browser okay and pass the value chrome okay so now because we have implemented this add option which will recognize the option that we are passing here in the browser right so this browser gets recognized and the value that we are passing in this particular argument against this gets returned with this particular method okay and now because this method is a fixture which is being utilized here so when we get this value here the browser value it gets you know uh, it gets checked for this condition whether this value that we are getting is equal to chrome then it will print this particular launch chrome and then print the further statements and execute the test cases accordingly okay so let's hit enter and see that it actually works as expected okay so you'll see that now instead of login browser it is saying launching chrome launch chrome login browse products it has executed all the test cases and log off and close browser right so this is what the actual usage of the parameterization is and how you will be using this parameterization to achieve our execution on different browsers just passing the arguments through the command line and not touching our code to re-execute it on different browsers or platforms okay so say for example i want to execute it on firefox now from the command line itself what i'll do is i'll simply instead of the chrome i'll simply pass ff right and it will print launch firefox run the test cases and then close the browser okay because here it is checking for the value that we are providing in the command prompt whether it's ff it will print it now if we provide any other invalid value so for example which is not there that we have defined so for example we want to launch it in edge then it will print provide valid browser right so it's still running but this is just to show you what parameterization can help us to do and what this the third option that we are looking at is adding the option and getting these options from the command line and parameterizing these into our scripts dynamically and using them okay we'll be using we'll be implementing this in the real scenario with the launching of the selenium test case and we'll try to run those test cases on different browser based on the command line argument that we are doing at the moment right but this is just to give you a brief idea and understanding about the pi test and how you can use this parameterization to pass the browser values and run the test cases on different browsers in pi test so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching